Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can connect a 4x4 keypad to a single Arduino input in order to free up some I.O. for larger projects. We'll be using a similar technique to one of my other videos, by using resistors to differentiate between different buttons, and then connecting the keypad output to one of the analog inputs. If you've used a 4x4 keypad before, then you'll know that it usually requires 8 of your digital I.O. pins. There's a pin for each column and a pin for each row. When you push a button on your keypad, it shorts out the corresponding row and column pins so that you can identify which button has been pressed. This is already more efficient than using 16 pins, one for each button, but let's have a look at how we can further reduce this to just a single analog input. For this technique, you're going to need 7 resistors, 6 of which needs to be different resistance values. These need to be in a similar range as well, so for example all under 1000 ohms, or all between 1k and 10k. You'll need one resistor for each column, and one resistor for each row. You'll also need one last divider resistor, which can be the same resistance as one of the others. It's important that none of the sums of two resistors are the same as any other combination as this won't allow your Arduino to differentiate between the two buttons. What I mean by this is that you can't have a 3 and a 5 ohm resistor in the same setup as a 6 and a 2 ohm resistor, as they both result in 8 ohms total, so your Arduino won't be able to tell them apart. This isn't usually too difficult with resistors, as they're typically not all factors of 10 or 100. The easiest way to check this is to draw up a small spreadsheet, with your resistor values in the top row and the first column. You can then calculate the sum of each combination in the cells, and make sure that none of these are the same. If one combination is, then you'll need to change the resistor in that row or column. You'll need to make three connections to your Arduino, one to ground, one to 5 volts, and then one to your analog input. I'm going to be using an LCD shield to display the number pressed on the keypad, so that you can see it working. I'm using analog input 1 as input 0 is used by the LCD shield. Let's set up the resistors on a breadboard. You'll need to put one resistor onto each of the keypad pins, then bridge the four row pins together and the four column pins together after the resistors. Then connect one set to ground and the other to 5 volts through your separate divider resistor. Your connection to your analog input goes between this divider resistor and your set of keypad resistors. What we've done is create a variable voltage divider, with a button push on the keypad summing up the two resistors to form the bottom half of the divider, and the fixed resistor being the top half of the divider. This varies the voltage being read by the analog input, which should be unique for each button and allows you to work out which button was pushed. Now let's have a look at the code. Most of the code here is related to the LCD, which I'm not going to go through in this video. I'll link a guide in the video description. In this first example, we're going to be using a variable called keyin to read the value on the analog input, and then display this on the LCD. We'll need these values to put into an array in the next step in order to recognize which button is being pressed. Upload this code to your Arduino and then try pressing the buttons on your keypad. Make a note of the values displayed for each of the buttons. You can also display this information on your serial monitor if you don't want to use an LCD. Now let's try using these values to recognize which button has been pressed and display the correct key on the LCD. 
You'll see that I've added three variables to the code. The first is an array of 16 values used to store the button input values. The second is a character array which stores the key symbol related to each button. The third is an allowable range. You may see that when you push a key it displays 512 and the next time 511. If your inputs vary slightly then this range allows you to accept values slightly higher or lower. This usually only needs to be one or two and can cause problems with overlap if it's higher than this. The setup function is the same as the previous code. In the loop function, we read in a value from the analog input, then cycle through the button key value array looking for a value which corresponds with the measured value within the range lines. And if one is found, then the corresponding key value is saved to a variable called temp and is then displayed on the LCD for one second before being cleared. Let's upload this code and try it out on the keypad. You can see we're now reliably getting the correct key character displayed on the LCD for each button press. Lastly, I'm going to be adding a small buzzer to beep when each key is pressed, similar to a passcode being entered. In the code, you can see that I've added a pin for the buzzer, and I've added a few lines to the if statement in the loop, which causes the buzzer to beep if a button is recognized. You should now be able to create more complex keypad projects as you've freed up a lot of your Arduino's I.O. pins. Let me know in the comments section what you're going to be using a keypad on. Thanks for watching and please like this video if it helped you and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.